So, first, can you tell me just a little bit about how the band got together and where you're from, where you're based? Yeah, well, we're Doncaster, Sheffield. Um, we've been writing together for a few years now, haven't we, dear? It has been a few years now, probably about five years. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> and we uh, we met. We actually played the same venue in Doncaster. Um, it was like an all-day festival. We're on different stages. You got a bigger crowd. <laughs> I don't know. I got two instead of one. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and that was it. Then we got together that day, didn't we? And then we yeah. said, well, start writing together because the voice is just out of this world. And I had a bunch of songs and she starts singing them. I'm thinking, wow, this, is, this could be special. So, yeah, that's how it happened. And then Joel and Richard as well got on board because, like, Ian's uh, closed men's shop in Donny. And uh, Joel used to go in, chat to him about music. He was in, like, local bands, got on board. And uh, Richard as well, like, just local music scene. And it's the band my roommate that you see today. And so what are kind of major inspirations for the band, either kind of music stuff and outside of music? What are you drawing we, upon? We, yeah, a lot of film stuff. We're in, really into his films, Tarantino. Um, soundtracks, I think that's what inspires yeah. us mainly. So most of the time in the van, we'll just have soundtracks on Hans Zimmer to Tarantino yeah. to Django Unchained. That's like yeah. always on it. Like, oh, this song sounds like James Bond. Like, yeah, kind of things yeah. when writing. But um, yeah, we're massively inspired by that. So we tend to go with that kind of flow. And if you made a film soundtrack, what would the film be about? Like, how would it fit in? Oh, love, death, violence, loads of blood, and uh, a bit more love, rompy sex scene, and that'd be fine. And tonight you are performing in the Enemy Lock-In, which is our we office. Yes. yes. How do you feel about performing in an office? I like it. <laughs> Offices are nice. If this is what an office looks like, <laughs> I'll quit the van. Here you go. I'll have um, a... Yeah, <laughs> Yeah, I've just grew up uh, buying the enemy every Wednesday. Like it's just been a massive thing. The first shop I had, we we did all the um, change rooms, we had all enemy covers, and all that. I'd saved them all in my loft. So we we're like, right, let's do it all. So enemy's close to my heart. So it's uh, it's very special. Thank you for having us. What's been your strangest gig prior to this? Oh, strangest weird gig. Ones. Oh, we yeah. have oh, strangest gig is how the night actually ended, not the actual gig. We got our first Radio One play, and then our bassist Joel Phillips jumped in the River Thames at six o'clock in the morning wearing a dress. Uh, he got pulled out the other side and luckily they were like, right, we've heard you on Radio X. We like you, we'll let you off if you send us a CD. So they did. However, we don't condone that ever. So don't do that. But that was probably the weirdest morning <laughs> yeah. after a gig Night ever. morning, yeah. Yeah, yeah that was fun. Uh, what would be on your dream rider? Money's no object. Um, Megan Fox. Uh, yeah, all right. Um, and a spaceship. Wonder Woman then, if we're doing that. Wonder Woman, Megan Fox and a spaceship. And the interior is red velvet, so nothing too much. Just <laughs> thank, thank you very you. much. Thank you. Thank yes. you. Good.